Do you like poetry? Or is it just something you remember learning about in a past English class? Of course, you know that most songs are poems. It is easy to hear that. When someone mentions poetry, does it bring to mind Shakespearean, iambic, pentameter, or maybe some sick beats by Tupac? Many people think that poetry is not for them, despite knowing that music is poetry. People often think that poetry is only for intellectuals, but poetry is actually for everybody. In ancient times, poetry was recited so people could remember their histories. As it evolved, poetry was written to convey feelings and emotions like love or sorrow. As poetry continued to evolve, it developed into a vast art form. Now, if the idea of poetry as an art form makes you nervous, or you still think that poetry is only for intellectuals, then have a listen to this poem by Langston Hughes called The Weary Blues, read by himself in 1958. poetry is for everybody, and you can hear that in the way he uses simple language and talks about a topic that most people can understand. Reina P. S. P. Jack uses more than one simple language in her poem Bilingual Bilingue. Reina uses her two languages as she speaks on her bilingualism. Bilingual Bilingue. My father liked them separate. One there, one here, allá y aquí as if aware that words might cut in two his daughter's heart, el corazón, and lock the alien part to what he was, his memory, his name, su nombre, with a key he could not claim. English outside this door, Spanish inside, he said, y basta. But who can divide the world, the word, mundo y palabra, from any child? I knew how to be dumb and stubborn, testaruda. Late, in bed, I hoarded secret syllables I read until my tongue, mi lengua, learned to run where his stumbled. And still the heart was one. I like to think he knew that, even when proud, orgulloso, of his daughter's pen, he stood outside mis versos, 
half in fear of words he loved but wanted not to hear. These two poems reflect the human nature of poetry. Some poetry, like much of modern slam poetry, is very cerebral and not always accessible or practical to the common person. However, Langston Hughes and Rina Piespichat show that poetry can, and actually is, wholly human. Poetry is a pure form of human culture. Only people have been known to write poetry, so a poem that I wrote, that you happen to hear, is in a way meant for you. A human with eyes to read with, ears to hear with, and a brain to think with. Poetry is for the people, all peoples, and most certainly for you. So when you think about poetry or read a poem, you can consider it a gift from the poet to you. When we think of poetry in this way, then this quote by Paul Engel could never be more true. Poetry is ordinary language, raised to the nth power. Poetry is bones with ideas, nerved and blooded with emotions, all held together by the delicate, tough skin of words. When we appreciate poetry, we appreciate ourselves. So enjoy some poetry.